So we have created the baud rate generator. Now let's understand and uh, the block diagram for UART transmitter and design that. Okay, so for a UART transmitter, see what it will be getting. It will be getting a 8-bit data or a bus data, parallel data. It will also have a clock and there will be some sort of indicator saying, okay, my TX data is ready, TX start, that I have sent the data on this bus. Now you start transmitting it. Internally, it will have a buffer. Let's call that S buffer underscore reg, where we'll store that data and then see, convert that into serial data at the start and stop bit, send that, and then when transmission is done, we'll also give an indication, TX equal to done. Okay, so we will have to follow this protocol as we had seen earlier and create this. So let's understand, start writing the FSM for it and then uh, basically start creating the block diagram and FSM and then write RTL for this. So now let's create the FSM for this UART TX. So initially, basically, we uh, don't have any data. Our uh, uh, data is not started. So we are initially in idle state. There is nothing. So in idle state, basically, we will drive one on this line which is to mean idle state so our txd is one and our transmission is not done so we basically drive tx equal to tx underscore done to be zero but this is our main line txd our transmission is not done and basically we are driving this to an idle value which is one so now we are in idle state and txd is one there is nothing happening on the line and we are just driving that now in the idle state, there are two things which can happen, okay? So someone basically sends data on this line and says TX equal to start. At that time, we have to get started and start figuring out how to send this data. But till we get this signal TX equal to start, that means data is not ready, we have to stay in this state. So as long as TX start is zero, nothing changes, we stay in the idle state and keep sending txd equal to 1, which is an indication of idle state. Now, when we get tx start equal to 1, that means your data on this bus is ready, at that time, we will indicate first add a start bit. What is the meaning of that? We will create a start bit for sending the data we have got this 8-bit data which we need to send and we have got indication that that data is ready. So then we will first indicate on the line which we are sending the start bit which is we will pull down this to 0. So we'll say txd equal to 0 and at that time basically based upon our pulse signal we are getting a tick at that tick only we have to send data. We will take the data which is there, which is given on the bus and we'll store that into our buff register. We will store, we have stored the parallel data we received and we received this data because TX start was one. Now we will store that data into our register and basically now we are in the start state that we have sent the start bit and we have stored this data into our tick. Uh, based upon our tick, we have stored this data into SBUF register, which is we'll use to convert that into serial data. Now, this tick is not nothing but the signal which we were receiving from our baud rate generator. Now, we have sent the start bit. Now, we'll go into transmission mode. So, at, at next stage, after the start bit, we'll go into transmission mode. In the transmission mode, we have stored the data. So we'll start sending the data from LSB to ML, MSB. So first we'll drive TXD to our, basically, whatever the LSB value which was stored, which is on 0th bit. Then, basically, at every tick, we will update the SBUF register. Basically, we'll update it with the value discard the, uh, this actually should be lowest bit value. So we'll discard the value. Then we will increase the count by one. 
why are we doing this count is this count is basically we have to send 8 bits only so this count will indicate whenever data all the bits we have which we wanted to send on the line has been sent and once all the bits have been sent we will go into stop so here we are in transmit mode we started with count equal to 0 then basically for each data we are sending we will increase count by 1 and we will send each bit bit data starting from LSB on our line TXD with that tick. So we will basically when we are in transmit state we will keep sending each of the bit and keep increasing the count and we will increase the count on tick because we want to send the data at the baud rate not at the clock we are getting. If the clock and baud rate is same that also okay but basically internally at the corresponding to the baud rate we are generating a tick at each of those tick will send the transmit data will start with bit 0 then we'll count increase the count by 1 we'll send the bit 1 bit 2 and so on we'll send each of those data when we reach the count equal to 7 that means we have sent all the bits at that that time what we will do is we'll go to the stop state and then send the stop bit sending the stop bit means sending this to 0 and then saying tx equal to done when this stop is done we will go back to our idle state that means we'll pull the line high and it will stay in the idle state till next data comes from the transmit side or from the bus side